what's going on everyone decided to do another rankings video this time my top 10 favorite citrus scented bars so let's get right into this starting at number 10 is a bar that i never really was a huge fan of but i know a lot of people were that is the grapefruit ipa from dr squatch this bar grapefruit is a kind of a citrusy scent but in its own bitter type of way it's a kind of a musky bar with a little bit of bright citrus grapefruit. I was never really the biggest fan of it. It didn't really stand out to me. So that's why it's my number 10 bar. A little bit more on the subtle side. Uh, and yes, I have tried Twisted Grapefruit from Sudsy Bear. I kind of thought it was very similar. Number nine. Number nine is Railroad to Nowhere by Hoffman's. This bar straight up smells like a lemon head. It does have lemongrass in here. And I think overall, it definitely smells like a lemon head, like the candy. It's super, super strong. It's not bad. It's kind of cool. It'll definitely, it's definitely very fragrant. So if you just need a bright, fragrant lemongrass type scent, um, Railroad to Nowhere is the one for you. But it can be a little much. It can be a little overpowering. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't say this is my favorite bar ever, but the packaging is really cool. So that's my number nine here. Number eight is a bar that I think kind of smells like Pledge uh, bathroom cleaner, as has been said by many people. And that is going to be the Summer Citrus by Dr. Squatch. When they replaced Cedar Citrus, they came up with this idea. And it does smell very citrusy, but to me, it kind of smells more on the synthetic side, actually. So I'm not the biggest fan of this bar. Um, yeah, I just think it kind of smells a little bit fake. Not super, super natural. I haven't smelled this in a long time. I kind of forgot what it smelled like. But anyway, that's my take on Summer Citrus. Lemon oil and everything, yes. But I think there are better bars out there. So that's number eight. Number seven is going to be not something I would necessarily class um, classify as a big citrus bar, but there is a little bit of a citrus set in here. I don't want to call this an imposter bar, but this is a great bar. I didn't want it to get left out. And it does have some citrus in here. So this is the Gin and, Gin and Juice Bar by Dapper Yankee. And I think it gets overlooked sometimes, but it does have some nice scents in here. It has juniper berry, but it also has some citrusy type fragrance to it. And it's actually really, really nice. It's a really nice bar. If you haven't tried it, I would recommend getting one. Um, this one's empty, but I remember what it smells like. And it was a really nice, surprisingly good bar. Very bright and fresh. So that is my number seven bar. Number six. Number six is going to be Energy Bar. I think this is probably Dr. Squatch's best, best citrus bar. Energy Bar, pretty recent release. Um, has that heavy grit garnet powder. It's kind of like a dark red maroon type color. But it smells pretty good. Uh, it has a little bit of a bitter scent to it. Personally, I think this bar kind of smells like one of those tropical orange Red Bulls. But it's not bad. I do prefer this to the Summer Citrus. So that's my number six bar. Yes, Energy Bar, number six. All right, we are in the top five. We're going to get a little controversial here. Lakeside Lime, that is my number five bar. A lot of you guys love this bar, and so do I. Lakeside Lime just has a nice, fresh lavender and lime scent. Smells of amazing truly really really nice fresh bright lime scent with a little bit of of lavender and there is a little bit of eucalyptus in here and i don't know maybe a little bit of some other fragrance but it's really nice a little bit of tartness in here that's my number five but there's another lime bar that i actually prefer now it is no longer called tequila shot on soap distillery it is now called agave and salted peel and this bar is amazing it actually i think it has a better lime scent 
and it's kind of mixed, mixed with agave. It's very well balanced. I really highly recommend that you guys check out that bar. It's going to be called Agave and Salted Peel on Soap Distillery. Really great fragrance to it. And good enough to be my number four overall citrus bar. If you guys haven't seen my review on this bar, um, you can check it out in my Soap Distillery playlist. But one of my favorite bars that I've really tried in a long time. But that leads me to my top three. Number three, we have a Grizzly Naturals bar, a very unique bar, and that is going to be Spicy Lemon. This bar has a really nice lemon citrus scent, but it's balanced out by a little bit of a spicy black pepper scent as well. It's an interesting combo. It has a little bit of clove in here, but I really do like this bar a lot. It smells very nice, very fragrant. And I know you guys that have tried it really love this bar, the Spicy Lemon from Grizzly Naturals. That brings me to number two. Number two is probably one of the most well-rounded citrus natural smelling bars out there. Still with Grizzly Naturals, that is the summer or the sunny citrus, I should say. Look at that nice bright color here. We have orange, lemon, and lime. This smells like a very nice natural glass of cold lemonade. It smells so good. It makes your shower smell like a tropical rainforest. I really do love this bar. And if you haven't tried it, definitely try it. Very underrated. Sunny Citrus from Grizzly Naturals. And that brings me to number one. And number one is Florida Grove by Sudsy Bear. You can see this one still has the old packaging on it. This bar smells like a nice glass of orange juice, natural Florida oranges with a little bit of honey and some nice orange peel as well to balance it out. And there is a little bit of a woodsy scent to it and some nice exfoliation in this bar. And this one is just, I just think the scent is the best one in, in this bar. It just smells so good, so good. So Florida Grove, that is my number one citrus bar. Again, let me, get, let me know what you guys think is your favorite one in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.